Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Today's English phonic lesson will be grammar. Singular and plural nouns. How we can show that? Singular and plural. The word singular means that we have only one of anything, like a house or a boy or a dog. One dog, one house, and one boy. The word plural means more than one of something, like houses or boys. Okay, grade one. So you have to know how we can, how we can write, how we can show it in writing grammatically. Let's see that. Singular and plural. When we make a singular noun into a plural noun, the spelling at the end of the noun will change. It has to be changed. Okay, grade one. House will become houses. Look carefully what is the change that we did. Okay, for most nouns, S or ES is added at the end of a noun or a Y is replaced with IES. How? This is a rule I needed to memorize it, grade one. Rules that you have to know that when we change the singular noun to a plural noun, we need to add, the spelling will change. We need to add to the words, okay, right one? Let's do this. Adding S, when we add an S, to make most nouns plural, we simply add an S to the end of the word. Most of the words, zebra, bees, football players, Logs, zebras, peas, football players, and logs. Do you see how we added an S at the end? So most of the nouns, we add that. So we already know what are the nouns. We know the name of person, place, a thing is a noun. Okay, great one. Adding an ES. When we add an ES, it's a kind of a revision for us, grade one. Okay. If the noun ends with the CH, SH, S, double s or an x most of the time we add es rule you have to keep it in, in your mind grade one the spelling will change from a singular to a plural how s adding an s and adding an es when we do that okay sandwiches do you see we added an es because we have the ch at the end glass double s es glasses buses an S, boxes, ES, because of the X, brushes, ES, because of the SH, Shh, some sandwiches, glasses, buses, boxes, brushes. So this is a rule you have to know it. To change the noun from a singular to a plural, we need to add an ES when when it will happen, when we have these words or these letters, the CH, the SH, the S, double S, or an X. Okay, when we go on to add an IES, I needed to know that grade one, okay? I needed to know this one. Whenever we have a noun ends with a consonant and a Y, most of the time we replace the Y with the I and we add the ES, I-E-S, like the word baby, for example. Do you see the word baby over here? We have the letter on the end, Y, and we have the letter, the consonant, B. So how are we going to write it if we want to show it in a plural now? Babies, exactly. But we have an exception which is when the nouns ends in a vowel, you know, our five vowels, A, E, I, O, or U, and a Y, most of the time we only add an S. Okay, grade one, we only add an S. Do you see it? It's an exception. So mostly when we have the consonant with the letter Y, we replace it and we add the I, E, S, but if we have a vowel with the letter Y, we only add an S, like the word key. How are we going to write it? Keys. Do you see? Only an S at the end. Let's do the book, please. Turn to page 116, 116. 
We have the rules here on the top inside the box. Okay, great. Right. Complete each sentence with a noun in. So these are the words that we're going to change them. The nouns that we're going to change them from a singular to a plural. Let's do this. The first one is a story. The shepherd boy made up many, many. It means a lot. Story. How are we going to write it? Look at the ding letter here. We have a Y and we have a consonant in front of it. So we're going to replace it with I-E-S. The Y-I-E-S. Exactly. He saw blank dragons and dogs in the sky. So the word that we're going to write it here, fox. How are we going to end it? How are we going to show it in a, in a plural now? Exactly. We're going to add an E-S, not only an S or I-E-S. E-S, because of the letter X that we have it here. Okay, great one. Duty. Duties. One of his duties was to watch the sheep. Okay. Baby. The word baby, it will be babies. One of the sheep had several babies. I-E-S. Because we know the rule. Consonant and the letter Y will be. Replace the Y with an I and adding that E-S. I-E-S. Okay. A wolf hid in the bush. A wolf hid in the bush. What are we going to write? Exactly. Bushes. E-S. Okay. Let's see the next one here. This is the homework, basically grade one. We go in, make the underlined noun plural, write it on the line provided. Okay. The fox saw the grape in a tree. I have the word grape. The, um, try to memorize and think about the rules that we have them. Adding an S, adding an ES, and ending IES. Since we don't have the letters that we have it when we add an ES, so it will be adding only an S, right? Step, think also about the rules and try to figure out how we can make it plural. Exactly. Just adding an S. Steps. The rabbit ate the carrot. Carrots. Well done. The farmer saw the golden egg. Eggs. Only an S. We know the rules. The bird flew over the tree. Birds. The cat liked to catch the dog. Chase the dog. Sorry. Dogs. Okay, grade one, grapes, steps, carrots, eggs, birds, dogs. Most of the nouns, when we want to make them through live, we add an S. And we know the rules when we add an ES and IES. Okay, grade one, have a lovely day. And we're done with the lesson for today.